first of all sir everyone's mind has one question after bahubali the biggest movie ever you go straight into rrr and two characters two roaring lions as i may say uh, although he was the one who was roaring on screen <laughs> sir why after bahubali why rrr um i mean i uh, i don't consciously make a decision uh, of uh, based on my previous films the previous films are done bahubali is done i leave it and i next uh, search for a story that that compels me uh, to make it and uh, a multi star a true multi star where we see two big heroes on on the screen has been a an exciting thought for me for a long time and uh, after bahubali happened one day it suddenly struck me that if i can bring uh, these two stars uh, two friends if i can bring them onto the screen that would be a joy for the audience to watch and uh, i have known them for a long time and they have uh, they have a big brotherly uh, uh, respect affection. towards me affection towards me and i know they would uh, they would say yes once uh, uh, once i propose it to them so that's how it happened not based on my previous films mm. just the excitement of bringing these two superstars together onto the two screen two superstars two fan rivalry ka i mean this is the biggest <laughs> two families who have had the 35 years of fan rivalry has been happening between your families <laughs> we didn't count <laughs> <laughs> what think about bringing both of you together this is also setting another standard in the indian film industry like two big powerhouses coming together as you said so i heard that you didn't even want to listen to the script anymore it was just rajamouli <laughs> that's it so that that's how you actually selected the movie was Absolutely. it um, mm. i can on this point i can speak for both of us yeah. tara can me mm. yes of course we don't hear the script see it's the love and the adoration mm. uh the and magadira how we look up <laughs> to mr rajamouli absolutely Yes, that's, that's the least we can do for him. Absolutely, and of course, for you, it's even like when your first—not your first movie, your second movie—but his first movie was with you, the yes, first was, turning uh, point. Yeah, yeah. Was, so I'm the senior here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was his first movie, and my—it was my second. So, yeah, from 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 there to to triple R, I mean. as 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 a storyteller from being a novice hmm. to being this the best the biggest director of the indian film industry i mean wow it's <laughs> it's it's great to to have been a part of the stories he told so it's 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 wonderful to see him like this absolutely sir if you if you say about alluri and komaram these are two real characters which you have fictionalized right we have we have, i mean as you said in all the interviews that you've done this is an era that nobody knows about these this is an era where th- these two characters went missing so you have fictionalized in the way in which they have met they might have a rivalry a friendship that's for the movie go us to watch but how did you come up with that kind of a thought what struck you Uh, i mean uh it suddenly struck me i was inspired by motorcycle diaries the 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 story of a journal of a Check young man yeah. uh she we don't know it can be anyone yeah. at the flag end of the film they say it is actually she yeah. guerra no and uh, uh it, it is a fictionalized story it is not a real uh, yeah. real life account and as i was uh, looking at the at the timelines of uh, uh allur sitaram raju and kumaram bhim there were so many coincidences they were born around the same time about 2 3 years apart uh, and around their 20s they left their houses we have some kind of uh, uh, historical references what happened when they were in their respective uh, places sure. but after they left their places we don't know what happened to them and they came back after 3 or 4 years and once they came back they started their uh, their movement against the sure. uh, against the british against the oppressors uh, in the same modus operandi Okay. no it was so coin- many, so many uh, coincidences and and we don't have any account of those four missing years so anything could have happened uh, so i thought that was a fantastic premise uh, for me as a storyteller to uh, uh, to visualize something that never happened but the spirit of the freedom fighters remains the same the characterizations the the way they were brought up 
Kumram Bhim was a, a tribal leader. Uh, Alur Sitaram Raj was a well-read man, uh, well-read man who worked for the welfare of tribals, for the liberty of tribals. So the the, uh, the characterization remains the same. The spirit, uh, the uh, the want for liberty remains the same. But the entire story is completely fictionalized. Absolutely. So I have enough and more questions in my kitty because you know I'm so excited to be watching RRR on 27th. So we are all waiting 25th. Yeah, 25th, 25th, 26th, 27th, all these days. Yeah. So let's uh, give the mic to the press. You have enough and more questions, please. If you could introduce yourself and uh, can I have a mic send over? Yeah, yeah. Whoever, please raise your hands and I can send the mic to you, please. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hi, this is Radhika Sharma from the Press Trust of India. This question is for Rajamali sir. Both of you can also join in later. Sir, would you rather prefer that the audience watches your films with subtitles or in the dubbed versions? Um, for me, whether it is subtitling or whether it's a language, it's just a medium of communication. Uh, I would rather want my audience to just get the story through the visuals. That is what I would prefer as a filmmaker. One small incident uh, that happened uh, during one of my films, uh, Makhi, Iga, when I was making that, my cousin came from uh, US and he brought a uh, white man along with him. So they, were com they came to my uh, office and I was showing them some parts of Iga. And my brother was trying to explain to him what was happening in the dialogue. And the white man said, you just shut up, I can understand what's <laughs> happening. So, see, see, that's what I want. I want the audience to get everything through the visuals and the way the actors are performing and the way the uh, background score is happening. Uh, dialogues and subtitles are just, uh, just mediums of communication. That's it. Those are not important for me. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, sir? Good afternoon, Rajmu. Srikant from Magal of Telugu News. ఈ మధ్య భారీ ఎత్తున భారీ బడ్జెట్తో సినిమాలు తీస్తున్నారు ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ అవుట్పుట్ కోసమే మీరు భారీ బడ్జెట్ ఎంచుకుంటున్నారా ఏంటి హలో ఓకే సి వి డోంట్ సెలెక్ట్ హై బడ్జెట్ మూవీ యూ కాన్ సెలెక్ట్ ఎ మూవీ లైక్ దాట్ వీ సెలెక్ట్ ఎ స్టోరీ అండ్ అండ్ ద ప్రిమైస్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టోరీ ద ద రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టోరీ tells us how much budget that is required to make the movie so if it's a if it's a big premise if it has a big setups if it has big action sequences visual effects that needs to tell the story obviously the budget is going to be big so we can't go and select okay let's make it make a big budget movie it doesn't happen like that so even being said that the interval sequence from what i've gathered 65 days 65 nights actually and every day if i'm i'm correct me if i'm wrong every day used to cost 75 lakhs yeah. initial uh, initially then uh, <laughs> then i started <laughs> tightening the screws a little bit and we started bringing down i need to look after my producer too <laughs> uh, yes please welcome sir now on the radio gill 106.5 fm lerndu rj krish mega periya legends munadi or kelvi kekkuradhu konja thayakama irundhalo indha kelvi kete aganum na first kelvi vande nama heroes kitta da சார் இந்த படத்தில் அந்த ப்ரொமோ பா அந்த ட்ரெய்லர் பார்க்கும்போது அந்த அந்த வாட்டருக்கு அடியில் ஒரு ஓடுற ஒரு சீன் பார்த்தோம் மிரண்டு போயிட்டோம் ஸோ இந்த மாதிரியான சீன்ஸ் நிறைய இருக்கும் படத்தில் அப்படின்னு நினைக்கிறோம் ஸோ ஒய் வி கமிட்டட் திஸ் மூவி அப்படின்னு சொல்லி நம்ம இதுக்கு இந்த மாதிரி மூவிக்கு இனிமேல் மட்டும் கமிட் ஆக கூடாது அப்படின்னு ஏதாவது ஒரு சந்தர்ப்பம் வந்துச்சு அவங்களுக்கு நடிக்கும் போது ஜஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் த கொஸ்டின் ஸோ இட்ஸ் பேசிக்லி ஸோ ஹீஸ் யோர் கொஸ்டின் கம்ஸ் டவுன் டு டிட் யூ எவர் திங்க் Yeah. that you did not you might as well weren't a part of this project right is that yeah. the question was there a point in was which there you a point where, like where we thought yeah. that i should have gotten should out have, of this yeah <laughs> i should have gotten out of this out of this well see when you when you work with a director called raj mauli you're pretty committed in your head you know it's going to take time well it's 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 what he is and that's how you know it 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 takes time to deliver bahubali right it took its time and again yeah to deliver to plar it takes its time 65 nights for one interval sequence which is probably about 20 to 25 minutes 20 25 minutes you're shooting that for 65 nights so that's the kind of commitment an actor needs to have when you're working with a director called rajmouli like rajmouli so there was never a point where we thought 
you know what i think we did a mistake by committing to this but no the 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 end goal where we wanted to go was very clear in our heads because we are going to be a part of something phenomenal called triple r at the end of the day and somewhere a lot of them will remember us because we've started this lost glory of indian cinema of having two stars you know making a multi starer so that was our you know very clear in our heads we knew where we were going we knew what we got into it was pretty clear thank you thank you so much sir arthi rajamouli sir uh, ஸ்ட்ரைட்டாக தமிழில் இந்த மாதிரியான பிரம்மாண்டமான சில படங்கள் நீங்கள் எப்போ கொடுக்க போகிறீங்க நிறைய வாட்டு சொல்லிட்டு இருக்கேங்க எனக்கு வந்து அப்படியே நான் பிரிக்கணும்னு இல்லை இல்லை தேவையில்லை தமிழ் தெலுங்கு ஹிந்தி மலையாளம் அப்படியே நீ பிரிக்கக்கூடாது மொழி வந்து சும்மா நம்ம we need the language to tell our ideas to the people but it is the story that should connect i want i dream of a day when we have one big film industry indian film industry tamil hindi tamil malayalam everything are just languages we should be the indian film industry that's what i want uh, that's what i'm striving for hello sure. hi hi good afternoon this is akanksha from film film at least uh, a big congratulations to the you know the the trailer is looking amazing and we can't wait for the movie the one thing was that when bahubali came you know it took the nation by storm because suddenly pan india you made pan india the buzzword so with rrr coming you have two superstars with you is there more pressure for the superstars as well and for you two to kind of now reach out to a much wider audience and did that did that play on your mind that the cinematic sen- sensibilities of the north audience versus the south audience is it different or how was it for you uh sensibilities will be different between uh, uh not just between uh south and north the sensibilities between tamil and uh, telugu will be different in telugu the sensibilities between telangana and andhra will be different in andhra the sensibilities between east godavari district and west godavari district will be different the sensibilities keep changing just like the tastes of the food that we eat keep changing from area to area but the emotions of a human being never change they are the same across the world so as long as I, my story is based on the basic human emotions that i believe will connect to the uh, connect to everyone i don't worry about how the north indians are going to look at it how the south indians are going to look at it i don't worry about that i just worry about telling my story in the best possible emotional manner possible amazing what about for ram charan and uh, ntr junior I mean absolutely um thanks to the the previous film he has done bahubali he's erased uh, a lot of the boundaries between the 29 states or 26 yeah, states, states we have uh, 30 states up to 30 we have <laughs> uh, so he's erased the boundaries between all the states and he's made it possible the journey has started with bahubali yes it's still a question whether we are one industry or we are uh how many other languages we speak in india we are that many uh, industries but today i feel he started a journey not only with rrr and bahubali he's also started an initiative himself which i feel nobody in india no director in india has started this thought in any of the press any of our minds or any of the press's minds to say please call us an indian film industry wow. and it is started with rrr i'm very proud absolutely and uh, in dubai we are even luckier you know they have done the movie in dolby vision and here we have theaters equipped for that thanks to mr ahmed gulshan here as well we have great theaters here i don't think in india we don't have a dolby vision theater yet right no we don't i think we're going to come back to india or so come, come back to dubai, dubai. oh okay dubai to watch. see we have them here to watch <laughs> good evening sir uh, could we have your uh, opinion as well on this about the same question yes well, is the mic working uh, can i see when you have a director like rajmouli as i you know i always say this you know you just need to do your job as an actor your job is not sitting down here and concentrating on how the market is expanding in india or what's happening in different states or different languages or how the sensibilities of the audiences are because he's the storyteller he decides that as an actor i believe in one thing as rajmouli said sensibilities might change but the emotion always remains the same 
So it's 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 just go tap the emotions. I mean, like you know, when you watch a movie like Avengers, the End Game, you know, when you have Iron Man dying, you don't need to have a language there. You just know you already have. You know, you you have tears in your eyes. Your your eyes are filled with tears. Call it Dubai, call it USA, call it back in India, call it in us. You know, name even a smallest in the smallest remote village in India. You go show him that scene, he will cry. It's how the story was told by the storyteller and how the actor delivered it. So it's just we just need to do our job right. That's all right. Thank you, Agansha. Sure. Good evening, sir. I'm uh, Sham from Radio Gili. Me to Telugu lo ikra matla tan ki chala happy ga ondi anta. We know the great R R R Mr. Ram Charan Rajamouli ga ron Ramgarh ga ru. Uh, I have two questions, sir. One is, me either ki okay question. Just now, Raju Maligar je peru, uh, same, on March 14th, the first me press meet lo je pina, adhe story, how the fiction has happened ani. So, these three years, how uh, difficult to maintain your physique and uh, the three hour story ni me entertain je itani ki, meiru three years kasha padaru, how uh, difficult? That is, man andar iti isinde, Raj Manigaru, first press meet lo jepperu. One of, it'll be one of the fastest uh, movies he's going to make. And he really meant it, Aroj Adi Chepnapur. But of course, along with everybody, we all went through the corona. And Andro, we, we all had a pause. Man Andro had a pause button. No kyo. Adi, kevalo RRRA pause button. No kyo. So Andro pause button. No kyo. So all of us put a pause button. So that was the only delay. But we've never uh, exceeded in the number of days we initially thought or Rajmali Garu thought we should work. We never had extra uh, schedules happening. RRR, the day one press release that happened in Hyderabad, what Rajmali Garu said, it will be one of the fastest films I will make. It was actually intended and it was, it had happened. But of course, it's only the corona. But keeping that aside, how did we survive? How all of you survived Corona, we also survived. <laughs> as simple as that. But keeping our interest, keeping us alive, of course, the man himself, uh, we were interacting, me and Tarak were interacting with him on a weekly basis, sometimes monthly basis. Of course, we want to keep a connect with our director and keep that enthusiasm and that uh, spark alive. Because all of us suddenly felt unemployed. <laughs> unemployed for two years. Yeah. But uh, yes, all of us uh, knew the end result of RRR. So even if I didn't speak to him, weekly basis or monthly basis, my zeal, my thirst to see the end result would have still been alive because I know when I started RRR, with what conviction I started RRR. Raju Maligaru, Miko Kukusin, sir. And with Magadira, Bahubali, RRR, now it's a pan India movie, biggest level of Chestunam. Uh, my last movie around um, 2017 lo release in Bahubali 2 and now we are in 2022 RRR release Kapotundi. Next cinema, how quickly we can see and uh, we are expecting you an international movie. My Telugu cinema ni Indian level and uh, national movies ala under Gurtis Naru. So next movie got in Chi. I put a next movie work in the country yesterday. <laughs> and uh, uh, God willing, uh, and we have uh, fantastic. Uh, distributors like uh, Mr. Golchin, uh, RRR itself will become an international movie. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, yeah. Uh, hello, this is Manjusha from Gulf News uh, in Dubai. Uh, lovely to see you guys here and all the best for the film. I just want to know, this is a tale of two rebels, right, at the end of the day. Can you walk me through your rebellious phase in life? And was it for <laughs> a worthy cause? I hope it was not again for some woman, but yeah, go for it. Try to make something up if you can, but... Talk about your oh rebellious boy. phase. Mike, <laughs> <laughs> Mike. So I think it's better Charan answers the his rebellious journey first, and, and then and he was rebelling back. against India's biggest superstar, Charan yeah. <laughs> oh No, actually, uh, Tarak, a uh, lot of rebels we have, but they have no cause. But he's a rebel with a cause. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love him. And uh, he's, a, he's a rebel which is seen. I'm a rebel which is not seen, unseen, whatever you say. 
so that's why we complement each other but yeah, you could say know. i'm the he's the source <laughs> no, 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 and no. i'm the that end it, that's, not, that's so about I, being rebellious no, so, yeah, so it's, I, it's he's the source that's not what i meant <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thing you also seen and he's not seen is what it is. Yeah, because he's the he's the starter. He he's, he gets he ignites it. it. <laughs> I'm glad he lights the fire, of course. But on a more serious note, what are the changes that you saw in director Rajamouli, and how did you, uh, even as a director, what are the changes you, um, you know, you uh, detected in your actors? Because you all started. It's almost like he gave you your first break, really, absolutely. put you on the map. No, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, actually, he gave me the first break. No, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's or what did I said. You, oh, yeah, okay, yes, fine. The actors, yeah, he yes. actually did. I mean, see, nothing has changed in him, but he's become hungrier. He's thirstier. He's he's in this mode of, you know, seriously, you know, thanks to Rajamali today that we have erased the imaginary boundaries of regional film. And we've become one big film industry. I mean, we're not here endorsing Triple R as a Telugu film, but we're endorsing Triple R as an Indian film, Indian film, and that's happened only because of him. It was his vision of showing the world what Bahubali is. And right now, he's in this mode where he's in this complete beast mode. He wants to tell more and more bigger, better stories. All his ideas, he wants to put it in front of this world. And he's hungrier. And, but nothing, his perfectionism is still the same. That will never change. He will never settle down for 99.9. He needs that 100. And he will beg, <laughs> bite, kill us if, it's, if he needs to, to get that 100%. And that's what we like in him as a filmmaker. And that's what I think has put him here. I mean, you know, put him where he is today. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, my phone. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we both Tarek and me have come from uh, uh, film industry and uh, film family. But uh, when I did my second film with Rajmouli Garu. Magadira. Though I did come from a film family, my father had brought me up <coughs> in such a way, nothing about the industry or the films or the magazines or the awards or any of the pictures, even the fan gave, would ever come into my house. It all stays in the office. So there was no traces of acting or film in, or anything. He's never told me when I was starting my first film, how to be, how to uh, act, nothing. Even after my first movie, I asked my dad, what do I do better to be a better actor? Trust me, he literally didn't say anything. He really wanted me to have my own journey. That was the moment when I started my first journey with Mr. Raj Moli. Why in repeatedly I keep saying he's my headmaster, he's like a dean in a college. I literally mean it. I have learned so much in my first movie with him. He is a director, he is a master storyteller. At the same time, he is somewhere my mentor, my guru, somebody. I don't know how my dad would feel, but in a way, he has taught me in today's time when I've realized that what is cinema and everything, he's taught me more than my dad. Oof. Namaskaram, uh, Namaskaram sir. Hello. Sir, my height is very high, so I'm going to win. So, yes, uh, SSR sir. Uh, oh, I'm so uh, sorry. Yeah. I'm, so <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm so back. excited, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay, yeah. it'll come back to you. Um, uh, the difference between uh, uh, them, how they changed, uh, obviously it's been uh, years uh, since I worked with them. Obviously, the maturity levels have uh, increased, uh, the naughtiness have come down a, a little really? bit, uh, but otherwise they are the same. Uh, I always say <laughs> Tarak, uh, I always say Tarak is like a, he's a supercomputer. He's like a sponge who absorbs everything, each and everything. I mean, none of us might remember what is there in this hall after we step out. But if you ask him, he will tell you the, what is the color of the carpet? What is the uh, lighting pattern here? What is uh, what water uh, brand of water did we have? He remembers everything. I don't know why he puts everything, but he grabs each and everything. 
and he doesn't do it consciously that also reflects in the way he approaches a character the moment i start narrating a story to him his characterization to him i see his brain is already in the functioning of what he needs to do on the day of the shoot and we are so close and i understand him so much he understands me so much that he actually knows how i'm going to shoot the the particular scene or shot and i also know how he's going to act where he is going to pause where he is going to turn his head i know everything about him he knows everything about me so it is a complete joy for me when i place my camera and sit in front of the monitor and see him perform the exact way that i envisioned in my mind so that's the kind of uh, uh, rapport that i that i have with him with charan it is uh, completely different um i have been telling this many times i uh, the the uh, the the time when i saw uh, when i saw okay the feedback is too feedback much. can you can reduce you it a little bit reduce the uh, level a little bit yeah yeah when i saw rangasthalam i was i was completely blown away very frankly i after doing magdira with him my biggest film his biggest film i never imagined charan could be such a phenomenal actor i didn't believe that and i was completely blown away and i was i was wondering how he was doing that i didn't know that charan i know didn't i didn't know the charan of rangasthalam when i did magdira so i was wondering how he did it and when he came to uh, onto the sets of rrr it was quite a revelation for me because i never seen any actor do that i heard about it but i never see i have never seen he comes to the set as a completely white blank canvas and tells the director you paint what you were whatever you want uh, on me and it is very easy to say that just unclutter your mind but it is it is impossible task i cannot do that and i learned that from him i mean i didn't learn but i saw that there is a person in front of my eyes who can do that and he surprised me he surprised me many times that if i imagined that this is what i need from the from my actor he surpassed it he surprised me many times tarak khan surprised me i know everything about him but charan <laughs> surprised me sometimes sometimes it was not what i wanted and i had to bring him to that what i wanted uh, level but sometimes he surprised me gave me more than what i want that's that's the difference between both of them on yeah, to your question please, question, yes. please. <laughs> ओके सो चरी गार नमस्कार वेलकम टू यू राजमौली सर नमस्कार वेलकम टू यू एंड तारक गार वेलकम टू यू चाल प्रेम का मिम्मली मैं इक स्वागति ने आर्जे कृतिक एग्जाइट न्यूज इवाल इकडे वन अंड ओनली रेडियो स्टेशन मन यूलो वस्तु रेडियो खुशी अच्छी सोसारी रि मन अंदर कल वी नाट एग्जाइटेड सो कमिंग बैक टू दि क्वेश्चन चरी गार मल्ल तारक गार क्वेश्चन मगधीर ंगे <laughs> <laughs> never been in a workshop by my while uh, while being a part of a movie maha ke entante idi see we did not have see komrum bhim character does not have any virtual references as films allur sitaram raj gar demo oka reference undi krishna gar chesina tante allur sitaram raj character movie undi tata gar chese idi unnai But the best part about Triple R is it's completely fictitious. Mm -hmm. If you if you paid attention to what Rajmouli, you know, whenever he gave his look out of his actors, he always said, "My Bhim, my yes. Rama Raju." He said, "My Sita." So it's, it's got nothing to do with what you know about them. It is about what you don't know about them and what his idea of showing the world of his characters, how he wants to portray them. so marco he didn't fill us up with a lot of information mm -hmm. he gave us information what needs what we need as actors to play his characters okay. so 
he gave us details of put bheem yala tintad how does he eat because bheem yeah you know bheem character is he's he's huge he's 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 massive so how would he eat what speed would he eat how would he sit down because he's he's a tribal how would he sit down how would he walk how would he drink his water how will he how will he talk to a very learned man so this was the detailing which we were given as actors which really helped us like in in every which way when he gave us the scene you know when we have all these already filled in my mind you know in your mind you automatically you know as an actor you're driven towards what the director needs so it was it was it was very interesting it was my first workshop ever <laughs> right uh cherry garu meek ela undindi workshop how was your experience mic again hi uh, no i don't want to uh, give my perspective both of us have traveled in the same journey together so it's almost the same but uh, always uh, every person evolves a lot every year and likewise uh, rajmouli gar evolved as he's evolving he has helped us also evolve in a m- into terex so that's all i can say uh, thanks to him that we all have evolved so much okay. but otherwise whatever tarak has said exactly that was my journey through rrr very nice very nice uh, sir meek na question entante alia bhat garni manamu uh, we have seen in a very soft character anamata like student of the year uh, hampi sharma kidna like a soft character bubbly ammai lag ikkada it is a little different how did you imagine apart gangubai how did you imagine alia bhat in this character end the gunpistin anpinchindi ee ammai kavali ee character ki i mean when i uh, see alia bhat externally she looks like a very fragile very soft girl but i don't know how you see it but when i see her i feel like inside that softness inside that fragility there is a very strong willed character that's how i feel when i look at alia i'm not i'm ta- not talking about the character she played mm-hmm. when i look at her that's what i feel so that's exactly what i wanted for my sita she should look very soft very fragile but uh she should be strong enough to rein in these two forces of water and fire right. now that's how i envision and that's why she was there in the film ओके वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर तारक गारो मेरिदर चाल मन फ्रेंड्स चरी गारो मेरिदर चाल चाल मन फ्रेंड्स मन अंदर एग्जाइटेड उन्मोदर मेरिदर गुरी चीक्रेट का चेमोरी मन दर शेर से ऐम लाट एग्जाइटेड उन्ना बिहें द स्क्रीन चिना मेमोरी मेमोरी अबउट वाट अबउटर की प्रपंच గుడ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ గా ఉన్నాం ఎవరికి తెలియకుండా ఈ మనిషి వల్ల పూర్తిగా బయటపడిపోయింది అది సో మై మెమరీ ఆర్ ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ మై మెమరీ ఆర్ ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ ఇచ్చారు అండ్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు కీప్ ఇట్ వెరీ పర్సనల్ ఇట్స్ 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 వెరీ పర్సనల్ టు మీ సో షేరింగ్ అవుట్ మెమరీస్ అండ్ ఇవి ఆర్ ఆర్ దే నాట్ మెమరీస్ ఎనీ మోర్ ఐ థింక్ వాట్ వి డూ టుగెదర్ ఇట్ బెటర్ బి పర్సనల్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ చాయ్ కాఫీ తాగుతారు కదా యు గైస్ కెన్ హ్యాండిల్ ఇట్ చాయ్ కాఫీ తాగుతారు కదా ఏండి చాయ్ లో కాఫీ తాగుతారు కదా కూర్చొని సిట్టింగ్ లేస్ కాని యు విల్ సెట్ అండ్ టాక్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ వెరీ వెరీ నైస్ అండ్ ఆల్ ది వెరీ బెస్ట్ వి ఆర్ ఎక్సైటెడ్ టు థాంక్యూ థాంక్ యూ థాంక్ యూ విల్ గో ఇన్టు ఐ థింక్ ఐ కెన్ టేక్ అ ఫ్యూ మోర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ప్లీజ్ ప్లీజ్ గో ఆన్ యా షూర్ 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 வணக்கம் எயிட்டி நைன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபோர் தமிழ் எஃப்எம்லேருந்து நான் ஆர்ஜி மதுவோ என்னோட கொஸ்டின் வந்து ராஜமௌலி சாருக்கு சார் இப்போது ரெண்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஸ்டார்ஸ் வச்சு நீங்கள் படம் எடுக்கிறீங்க ஸோ சாதாரண விஷயம் கிடையாது ஆலியா பட் மேமும் பெரிய ஸ்டார் நிறைய ஸ்டார்ஸ் வச்சு எடுக்கும்போது இது பீரியாடிக்கல் ஃபிலிம் நீங்கள் கதையும் காம்ப்ரமைஸ் பண்ண முடியாது பெரிய ஸ்டார்ஸ்க்கு ஸ்க்ரீன் ஸ்பேஸும் கொடுக்கணும் ஏன்னா ஃபேன்ஸோட எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் கண்ணா பின்னாண்டு இருக்கும் ஆஃப்டர் பாகுபலி ஸோ ஏதாவது ஒரு சின்ன காம்ப்ரமைஸ் நீங்கள் பண்ணிங்களா ஸ்க்ரீன் ஸ்பேஸ்க்காகவோ இல்லைனா படத்தோட கதையில் ஏதாவது ஒரு பார்ட்டை கட் பண்ணுறதோ இந்த மாதிரி ஏதாவது ஒரு சின்ன காம்ப்ரமைஸ் வந்து நடந்துதா இவ்வளோ பெரிய ஸ்டார் டம்னால் இல்லைங்க அந்த மாதிரி இருக்காது பிகாஸ் த வே அப்ரோச் த ஃபில்ம் இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஏன்னா ஐ டோன்ட் லுக் இன் டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹவு டு பேலன்ஸ் த ஸ்டார்ஸ் ஹவு டு பேலன்ஸ் த ஆக்டர்ஸ் யூ கேன் பீஸ் இட் ஐ டோன்ட் லுக் இன் ஐ டோன்ட் லுக் அட் த ஸ்டோரி இன் தேட் வே அட் ஆல் ஐ லுக் இன் த டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹவு இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் த ஸ்டோரி கேன் பி ஹவு பிகாஸ் ஐ எம் டீலிங் வித் டூ டூ கேரக்டர்ஸ் ஹவு கேன் ஐ மேக் தெம் ஹவு கேன் ஐ மேக் த ஆடியன்ஸ் எம்பத்தைஸ் தெம் ஈக்குவல்லி ஸோ தட் ஐ ஸ்ட்ரகிள் எ லாட் டு bring a balance in that aspect but not in the aspects of uh, equal screen space irka illiya ivar konjam jaasti irkana avaru konjam cut pannalama indi 
இவருக்கு ஒரு ஃபைட் வச்சான் அவருக்கு ஒரு ஃபைட் வைக்கலாமா அவருக்கு நாலுக்கு பஞ்ச் கொடுத்தோம் இவருக்கு நாலுக்கு கிக் கொடுக்கலாமா இந்த இந்த மாதிரி பேலன்ஸர்ல நான் நான் பண்ண மாட்டேன் தட் இஸ் தட் இஸ் நாட் ஹவு வி மேக் அ ஃபில்ம் வி மேக் த ஃபில்ம் இன் அ வெரி என்கேஜிங் மேனர் இன் தட் என்கேஜிங் மேனர் இஃப் ஐ ஹேட் டு கட் அவுட் சம் ஸ்பேஸ் ஐ வில் கட் அவுட் சம் ஸ்பேஸ் இஃப் ஐ ஹேட் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் சம் ஸ்பேஸ் ஐ ஹேட் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் சம் ஸ்பேஸ் ultimately it is the story that we are slave to okay yeah that's what i believe thank you thank, thank you sir thank you okay there's one in the front and then i'll come back to you sure please please go uh, hi andy telugu community tarapuna a warm welcome to dubai tarak garu meer antu untaru meeku naaku chaala chanuve kuva rajmoudi garu tho ani so adi meeku plus point ayinda minus point ayinda ee cinema ki ee cinema kande ఆ మైనస్ పాయింట్ అనుకోవాలండి కొంచెం అయ్యో అంటే మరి కనికరం లేకుండా ఎస్పెషల్లీ దట్ 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 ఎపిసోడ్ ఫర్ విచ్ వి ఐ మీన్ విచ్ వి షాట్ ఫర్ 65 నైట్స్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ వి స్టార్టెడ్ షూటింగ్ ఫర్ దట్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఇన్ సమ్మర్ దెన్ కేమ్ కరోనా దెన్ వి హాడ్ అ లాక్ డౌన్ అండ్ హి హాస్ అండ్ హి హాస్ దిస్ హ్యాబిట్ ఆఫ్ స్టార్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ వేర్ హి యు నో స్టార్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ హి స్టాప్డ్ సో హి స్టార్టెడ్ విత్ దట్ ఎపిసోడ్ అండ్ ఇట్ వాస్ పీక్ వింటర్స్ యా he drenched me in water at 4 am in the morning i was shivering okay. and he was the fire right he was pretty happy <laughs> not in summer <laughs> not in summer but so oka vidhanga chanu meeku minus point ayinda ee okka degara minus point undi adi aa episode okka degara yeah okay but it's always a plus point aa chanu undadam valla i've grown as an actor and 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 i always say this my growth as an actor today okay is 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 because of him okay it's it's what he made me realize mm-hmm. on a potential manaki teliyad antam kada potential is something which you are not very true. so basically yes. he pushed me to 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 acha satisfy myself as an actor oh great and not worry about <laughs> the results and box office performances of a movie yeah. you're an actor you do your job perfectly <laughs> thanks sunny thank, thank you thank you and, and uh, one show రామ్చరణ్ గారు తారక్ ఎప్పుడు అంటూ ఉంటారు రాజమౌళి ఈజ్ లైక్ ఏ మాన్స్టర్ అని సో మీరు మగధీర చేశారు ఆల్రెడీ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ అయిపోయింది ఆ మాన్స్టర్స్ ఏమన్నా ఇంక్రీజ్ అయిందా ఆర్ఆర్ఆర్కి ఆయన కోట ఏమన్నా పెంచేశారా ఆ మాన్స్టర్ ఇది మీరే చెప్పాలి అది అబ్సూట్లీ అండి మగధీర కలెక్షన్స్ బాహుబలి కలెక్షన్స్ మీరు చూశారు సో ఆబ్వియస్లీ ఆ మాన్స్టర్ ఇంక్రీజ్ అయింది అండ్ ఐ ఆల్వేస్ సే ఐఎమ్ బెటర్ when i work with monsters okay. or work under pressure <laughs> and the amount of good pressure he puts on actors it drives us to wake up and do and uh, get inspired as an actor okay. and after this also you're going to monsters again right come Sukumar, again shankar all the rest of the movies yeah, are also we'll, monsters we'll, coming up we'll talk in the next six <laughs> <laughs> thanks so i'll take one more yeah. question i i'm i'm really running out of time yeah please you are up there ముందుగా ముగ్గురికి కృతజ్ఞతలు సార్ మాకు ఇలాంటి సినిమా తీసుకురావడానికి ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ముగ్గురు రావడం ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ గ్రేట్ థింగ్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ద క్వశ్చన్ సార్ రాజమౌళి సార్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ ఫర్ యూ సో దెర్ ఆర్ మెనీ బిగ్ ఫిల్మ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ మేడ్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ఆన్ ద వరల్డ్ రైట్ అండ్ ఎస్పెషలీ వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు యూ తెలుగు ఫిలింగ్ బీయింగ్ మేడ్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ద కన్స్ట్రెయిన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బడ్జెట్ అండ్ ద టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ ద టైమ్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ వాట్ యూ పుల్డ్ ఆఫ్ ఇస్ ఎ గ్రేట్ థింగ్ డ్యూరింగ్ కరోనా వైరస్ ఐ మీన్ థ్యాంక్స్ అ లాట్ ఫర్ డూయింగ్ దిస్ సో వాట్ ఐ వాంట్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఫ్రమ్ యూ వాజ్ with respect to the technology we use the fact that we are in the expo so with respect to the technology you use and the, the technology that is used in the western countries how different are we are like how, does that affect the amount of time that it's taking for the film to be produced and coming to the theaters at the end of the day uh, i mean that that's a big question to answer <laughs> it will become a, a master class i think <laughs> instead of being a press meet uh, uh, the work culture is quite different from uh, the western world to uh, to our indian industry uh, simply put a western uh, industries tend to work with less number of people with less number of days in greater output because for them um, uh, that is more money the the human resources cost more so they, the the way they program the whole thing is like they tend to squeeze the film into a lesser number of days the way indians we indians work for every small work we we employ many number of people, uh, people because we are a bigger populous uh, country uh, we need to employ more people so even for a small work more number of people come 
uh, actually what happens is uh, happens is with lesser number of people you can get the work faster contrary to the belief that more number of people get the work faster absolutely uh, more number of people tend to make the work slower but that is that is how it's traditionally been not just the film industry traditionally that's how have been how we have been working uh, so that's just the working style i'm not saying one is better one is uh, not so better okay and technology wise uh, uh, obviously we get all the technology from the west and they uh, uh, employ it uh, earlier they get better at, at that the technology first and we are always some 5 6 years behind but what we do is uh, what we have a fantastic word in india called jugaad <laughs> right <laughs> right we find out things that westerners can't even think of because the necessity necessity is mother of invention absolutely uh, just as an example i can tell you uh, again i'm coming to the same sequence again 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 the interval sequence where it had number of numerous uh, animals uh, in between to to exactly shoot it in a western way would make me will cost me like into millions of dollars to get the equipment to shoot it the, to be precise sure. um, uh, but we went in a completely different way we employed local uh, uh, technology geeks we employed small led lights to trace the paths of the animals wow. and uh, we used rc cars in the place of animals uh, sure. to uh, to move them so no uh, west would do in a completely different way but we did in a completely different uh, way absolutely of course it still cost us a lot of money but the same money would have cost 10x if it was a western way of working so i think as an example that will makes a lot of question. sense makes a lot of sense thank you so, thank with you. respect to the actors i have only one last question please yeah i so, mean yeah so both of you are coming together right at any point of time while you're dubbing for different different languages did you feel uncomfortable or did you feel like um your your uh, sinking wasn't in place or anything like that or were you really comfortable with it or was it so easy yeah we could see we it was his intention that uh, we speak in the languages the film is being released in because the emotion is stronger when it's coming from the actor i mean all due regards to dubbing artists who have done great jobs phenomenal jobs but well he felt that it's nice if we can communicate as actors in 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 those respective languages and it was just fun you know it 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 in a way it made us learn the language you know sure. become better in it a little more we had uh, uh, people to help us while we were dubbing for it and 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 yeah you know all these languages are not alienated to us you know telugu is there obviously and tamil, tamil. we know tamil because the film industry the telugu film industry migrated from chennai, chennai to 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 hyderabad and we have a lot of tamil speaking technicians and kannada yes because my mom was a Uh, she's a kannada girl so it was kannada was easier for me and uh, hindi because we come from hyderabad from you know born and brought up in hyderabad and hindi is again is not an alienated language so it was it was it was it was really good you know when you know we were happy that we could give our emotions out in that you know in that respective language except for malayalam except for malayalam <laughs> next time for next sure. time <laughs> so thanks a lot for all, all the questions Yeah. Okay. So, thank you guys. Thanks a lot for being here. And of course, we know that's one man who has made one E, one Eecha a superstar, a fly a superstar. And 550 crore movie, I think first day done. <laughs> so, let's all book our tic tic uh, tickets in advance from 25th. It's going to be showing in all the theaters near you and we get to watch it in Dolby Vision as well. Yeah, so, we get to hello yeah one thing uh, 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 we are very happy to announce is that we get to enjoy rrr in the triple r in many ways you can enjoy it in imax, IMAX. you 3D. can enjoy it in dolby vision you can enjoy it in 3d 3d no. yes and uh, usually i don't go for 3d but why 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 i went to 3d for this time is that it brings the actors closer to the audiences and the emotion is that much more right i felt the emotion coming uh, very close to me sure. so i uh, chose 3d and they're also getting imax 3d yeah, wonderful uh, is, wonderful yeah and many big screen different big screen formats 
you can enjoy the in UAE you can enjoy all the all formats, all formats. <laughs> we are lucky that way we are lucky that way Thank and you. we are lucky to have you guys here as well thanks a lot thanks a lot tarak thanks a lot rajmolgaru thanks a lot sharan thank you thanks a lot for being here thanks a lot thank you please